Uh, Professor Suzuki, it's lovely to talk to you. And, and part of uh, the campaign that you're engaging in is around sea pollution. And I guess even though you may not have been on board, you were, uh, would be well aware of the levels of sea pollution. Paint us a picture as to what the position is. Well, the oceans in general are a mess. We've used it as a garbage can. And uh, it's not just a question of overfishing and the way that we're trashing using gear like heavy weights to drag across the bottom of the ocean. But also it's that uh, there are dozens and dozens of so-called dead zones. These are areas that have had so much eutrophication, there's no oxygen left in them and nothing can live in them. These are increasing in number, in size and duration in all of the oceans of the world. And much of the garbage on land ends up in the ocean and we all know that in the great gyres of the oceans where the currents go around like this, they're basically centrifuging all our junk into these giant islands of plastic and garbage that are uh, some of them bigger than the state of Texas. And now with all of the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere uh, as we burn more fossil fuels, the carbon is dissolving in the ocean as carbonic acid and we're getting acidification of the oceans with consequences I don't think anyone really knows what the long-term effects will be. So the oceans are really a mess. And uh, I guess it, it comes, you know, to the, we, we have to think about that we can't keep putting this kind of rubbish into the ocean and expecting it not to end up somewhere. With these, as you say, these sort of giant pools of rubbish, what can we do to, to start cleaning them up? Well, it's interesting. My response when I heard about those islands was, oh my God, what, there's nothing we can do. But my wife's response and my daughter's responses were all very different. They said, somebody's got to go in there and clean it up. And my wife is saying, you know, what we're engaged in is global housekeeping. And any woman knows when you make a mess, someone's got to clean it up. Men tend to just lift up the carpet, shove it underneath and get on with doing other things. And uh, this is what these islands of plastic represent. The problem is much of it is plastic that is broken down into what we call nurdles, which are little bite-sized pieces of, of plastic. To get that kind of soup scooped up and deal with that is going to be a very, very big and expensive job. But I think my wife is right. Someone's got to get in there and start doing that. Yes, I hate to get into a gender discussion, but I think in. women are much more practical when we go, well, surely there must be something we can do, not to suggest that you aren't.